How to connect UPS to your Shopify store. Hey everyone and welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, is, I'm just going to show you how to connect both. So this way you can, you know, integrate UPS with Shopify. Now it is actually going to be very easy and simple to do. So let's just go ahead and get to it. But before that, you will need two different things. And I'll just need to list them before we continue on. First is going to be obviously an admin Shopify store. You know, you should be the admin for it. And then the second thing is going to be a UPS account. So if you don't have one already, just go ahead and create one because you will be required to use it, obviously. So now with that being out of the way, we can just go ahead and get started and show you what to do. So we will be doing things from Shopify's perspective because it is easier this way, but you can also go ahead and do it from UPS. Regardless, let's just go ahead and jump into Shopify. And then you basically want to navigate to the apps section from the bottom left, click on that. And then you want to go to all recommended apps and just head on over to the Shopify app store. From here, you basically want to search for UPS. And then you will find a specific app that is pretty much called UPS shipping uh, official. Um, so this is the one that we actually want to use. So make sure that you are using this one, uh, you know, finding this one exactly. And we can just go ahead and click on install now. If you feel like reading more about it, you can feel free to do so. But I'm just going to click on install here. Um, and then we just basically need to confirm the installation like so. And once this is done, we can just go and exit out of these two because we don't need them anymore. And now we can see the steps that are required for us to move on. So here we have first steps, uh, connect your online store. Next step is going to be connecting your UPS account. So just go ahead and click on setup and you will be taken to uh, this page if you don't see it already. And here you will see that a confirmation email has also, be, uh, has, has also been sent, I believe. Uh, they want to say that. And then you would want to add the password. Uh, for it here is going to be an alternative email if you want not if you want to actually are required to do so uh, and then we also want to set up a password and just go ahead and continue now from your email and they will be using the email that you use on your shopify uh, you basically want to open up your email to verify your um your uh, your account basically because they're going to create one for you so just go ahead and click on verify account and it's just going to verify uh, the account for you. And then we can just go ahead and fill these up, these things here. I'm not going to actually create an account here, but you, you know, you can just go ahead and fill them up with the alternative email address. Uh, and also they will send you a confirmation email and then you'll be able to just set up the password and confirm it and just click on continue. Once you do that, you'll basically add your sender information and you know, the shipping uh, defaults and you know shipping options or shipment option basically and that's all for this video so hopefully you found this video to be informative and thanks for watching